the transition between COVID and out of COVID. So thank you for wearing your masks. We have a safety zone around the stage here for our, our, our performers. All of our performers are vaccinated, so they're, they're happy to perform without their masks, and we're very excited. Um, a little different outside afterwards. We're not going to do the autographs, but we will have all the leads there for, for pictures, and you can come up and take selfies with the group. With them. They'll be out there. So just trying to keep everybody safe as we transition through all this. But thank you for coming. Um, we're going to be selling t-shirts outside. You can buy a Summer Stage t-shirt. Um, just a reminder, please, no uh, videotaping of our shows or flash pictures during the performances to distract other people. If you love the show today and you want to share it with someone else at home, we are streaming the shows this summer. So on Friday night and Saturday, we have two performances that are streamed. You do have to watch them at the time, uh, but if you could go on our website and you can buy a ticket, the whole family can watch the show again. If there's a show that you're going to miss, um, you can try to catch one of the streaming performances in front um, we want to thank our sponsor this weekend, and that is Motions Dance and Fitness Shop. They've been with us since the very beginning. And in fact, if you go to Motions and Sale for Summer Stage, she'll give you a little discount. So uh, thank you for Motions for being with us for many, many, many years. We are so excited this summer about our season. Uh, we have a, all books, every single show is a book, so The Wizard of Odds, and next week it's Judy B. Jones. How many have read Judy B. Jones? Lots of people, right? The week after that, you may not know the story as much, but The Wind in the Willows was one of the legendary rides in Disneyland and Disney, Disney World for a lot of years. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. This is a show that just was in London. It's by the authors of uh, Mary Poppins and wonderful, wonderful music, a wonderful story about friendship and some crazy antics with a mole and, uh, and a toad on stage and lots of fun. And then after that, another book that a lot of people have read. How many have read Don't Let the Pigeon Ride the Bus? Yeah! So that pigeon is going to be on our stage. It's our fourth show. A lot of you like Halloween, so we're going to bring Halloween to summer stage for our fifth show. It's Swoopley the Square Pumpkin. We're going to have Halloween right on our stage. And our final show is one of our favorites. It's one that was written just for summer stage. It's a true story that happened in Swarthmore, PA, about a young girl who got a Viking ship in her backyard. So the Vikings of Yoke Vikings will be here. And if you like pirates, you're going to love Vikings. That's our sixth show. And on top of all of that, a beloved book that my kids all read in seventh grade, Tuck Everlasting, will be our main stage musical. So that's our season. We are thrilled and we'd love to have you there for every single one of them. And today, we have a little mermaid. What? I'm wrong? We're going to do the little mermaid today. So, so we have the little mermaid right here. Uh, we're going to do the Wizard of Oz! And, and I know when you kids tell stories at home and you make up plays and stuff, there's always different ways to do it. So today I want you to imagine that you're in the game of Candyland or Shoots and Ladders and there's a spinner and when you spin the dial, you have to go somewhere. And maybe if you land on the red space, something bad happens. So that's the exciting adventure we're going to be on with the Wizard of Oz. And we want you to join in with us. We're going to start the magic and the music up. Join us in magic of our sleep. Here we go with the Wizard of Oz! Absolutely. I think we're forgetting one more thing. And that is to give a big and warm happy birthday to the founder of our program, Harry! 